Hi bodies, welcome to Mass Games. Today I'm bringing you the how to unbox and preview and basically teaser for the game Micro Macro. This is Crime City. So um, if you have been familiar with games such as Chronicles of Prime and games where you're trying to sort of solve a murder and deal with numerous things that could be coming along, things that you have to kind of deal with, and you've liked games such as uh, Where's Wally or Where's Waldo, then you'll be interested in this. Now, Where's Wally or Where's Waldo is actually inspired by an old German kind of uh, cartoon or drawing whereby it's a very, very busy picture. Now, you might not be able to see it very clearly here, but basically you can start straight away. There is a murder, something happening here. So I'll leave this if you basically want to pause the um, the video and just see if you can, if it's, it should be detailed enough on, on screen, to basically pick up and discover exactly where this character is and, of course, you know, where, where has he died and basically who has done it. And the answer's on the back, but I was able to find out from here. There's an excellent demo that I played first before I ordered this and um, I will be opening it up to show you what's inside and what it's about. And uh, yeah, so just to let you know, have a quick look at that. And I won't spoil it, uh, but basically you need to understand who has been killed from um, basically this kebab shop owner. Now, aside from this, um, I will let you know that if you enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up button as well. Also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. already. Uh, hello, all new subscribers. Additionally, check out the comments and descriptions for obviously everything else I've put in here as well. Other games uh, to be reviewed soon. We have Undo, We've Been Fated New. This is game seven or eight, depending on if you include the promo and uh, Peak of No Return. And basically, you're trying to save lots of people in the Himalayas, which is quite cool. Uh, there's a climate game, Koyo 2, Money Makes World Go Down. Uh, Kitchen Rush, this is another game by David Churchy. This is 2017, and I've played lots of his games. And I've got uh, St. Elmo's Pay, 1565 or 1565 St. Elmo's Pay. Um, fantastic art. That's why I've ordered that game. Uh, that is going to be um, available very soon. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting that. The Kickstarter actually for the next game goes live on my birthday. So very cool to kind of check that one out. But for now, this is the one I'm most excited about. Uh, I think it's 18 cases or a number of cases. So firstly, do you know the reverse side of these cards? I'm not even going to turn this over. There's a large map. We're going to just open that up and see what's inside here. There's a little magnifying glass. I did wonder how do they do it. And ultimately, if we hold up this map here, it's a quite a thick, heavy map. Um, yeah, you can see a bit more detail. Hopefully, yeah, I can tell through the camera lens that's coming out. And then uh, let's see how well that works. That kind of works kind of as well, but I think that's basically when I'll be holding it. And it just lets you just hover around and look for things. So I haven't had to use that before. Oh, we've got a little sticker thing here. That's fine. You can stick it somewhere. Deck of cards and then these things here. So I'm thinking we don't open these yet. Let's go off the rule book. Let's have a quick look at what we have here. Spoiler, do not go the reverse out of the cards. Fine, so we can open it up. And um, aside from that, uh, just a little thing in different languages. Uh, we have uh, Crime City, so basically quiet place overrun with crime. Detectives need your investigative skills to help deal with the situation. You'll play together in a team to try and solve the numerous crimes that are taking place in the city. So there's one city map, there's 16 envelopes, one magnifying glass and a sticker, and 120 case cards. Now what I think this sticker goes is actually on that magnifying glass there, but I'm not certain. Um, it might tell me, and I don't want to do it in an unboxing and do it wrong. But we also have this little thing here. Lots of different cases. There are more cases you can do online. Ah, here are these little envelope things. I think that's to do with uh, basically knowing how to put it together. Remember, I will be doing a how to set up, play, and review. And unfortunately, I've got a slight problem with the tripod. I need to order another one um, because this probably will not all fit on the screen. I do have a new tabletop, a much bigger tabletop for playing on. But let's just see how easily this even unfolds. I don't want to rip it. So we do that side. But yeah, if you want to do the demo, there are nine little things that you can be doing online. I've done them all. And as you can see, it's a massive map. So you could definitely spend some time and, you know, you might see someone dead um, but you think oh well someone else is dead so 
that can happen too. Lots of little funny stories, things which might not even be in the, the various modules. So as you can see, a massive map. This has basically got another whole section above it. This down here has got another almost section as well. Over to here, more. Okay, so this is a massive map. Um, it is one-sided, uh, just in case you're I guess, confused to which side it was. Um, it's relatively thick paper, um, so I don't think it will tear. But yeah, you do need a big table. It's you know, 75 centimeters across, and uh, luckily this is an 80 centimeter table, so it's absolutely fine. So this is Pegasus Spiel and hard boiled games. I haven't heard of hard boiled before. Um, obviously, I quite like my Pegasus Spieler games. Port Royal obviously got me hooked on them. And uh, what else do we have in here? So we've got these card decks. Let's put those envelopes over there. So this is a various different cases you can do. Uh, we have the introductory case, the top hat. So it looks like there are various things you can work on. And uh, it does the start card for the case. The lead investigator now turned over the start card and reads the text on the back aloud. So let's just open that up and just have a look just to see what that's about. Now, do these cards have, they don't seem to have the special thing. I'm just gonna do it this way. Okay, so it looks like we have different difficulties based on the stars. And again, I said, I'm not gonna look at the back or at least read the stuff on the back. So there are grid references. I think it tells you where things are. And I think with the hat symbol, we get to know the kind of uh, what's going on there. So firstly, you need to find the pub. So you can flip it over. Um, okay, so let's read this one. Fernando Branca was on the, on the way to his local pub. Upon arrival, he noticed the top hat had disappeared and the pub is located in the east of the city, so you know roughly where to go, between Neptune Park and the hardware store. So now you need to find something that looks like a Neptune Park, whatever that is, maybe a planet. Now put this card aside. The next card on the stack describes the first task on the black background. So uh, this is Fernando, that's what you're looking for. You're trying to find his hat. So firstly, don't turn that over. Once you've found the pub, can the lead investigator turn the card over and check that the answer is correct? So it looks like you're working in teams. I know you can work alone as well. And I said, obviously, there's lots of different missions. Here we go. So playing the first five cases in the order listed. If you're new to the game, uh, so of course, if you do the tutorial, I still would probably recommend going through them in order. And then, yeah, you're moving on to those next ones. So disappeared without a trace is down here. And then you're kind of just doing the rest. Um, tips can help to relevant mark relevant scenes with the coins, bottle caps, etc. Uh, that could be quite interesting. I think I might do that. And as with all cooperative games, it's very easy for some players to take charge. That's a very good point. And dominate discussion to make sure everybody gets equal opportunity. Um, and yeah, get involved, participate in this investigation. Yep, I've always found that no matter who it is, no matter how shy, how, how little they say, um, it's probably the best thing you're going to hear. So that's really good. Um, yeah, very excited. Lots of cases, uh, lots of fun. And I reckon you could probably make your own up too. Now, um, the question is, there's no baggies. So I think these cards will fit just fine there. The question is, do these need to go back in there? That's something I'll discuss in the review. Um, exactly how to set it up, of course, and pack it away. So there we go. I'll uh, put this all back in. Hope you enjoy it. And of course, we'll look forward to checking out the full review. So thanks very much. I'll leave that on for the time being. That has been Micro Macro by Johanna Sick, ages 12 plus, one to four players. Of course, you could play with more, uh, 15 to 45 minutes. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that's per, per mission. So looks like a lot of fun. Well, thanks very much. Any questions, like I said, bye for now.